Hi, and welcome. I'm Dr. Jean Lee, and I've had the joy of practicing at Wyndham Allergy since 2013. We have a passion for diagnosing and treating food allergies, but our favorite thing is discovering when kids don't have food allergy. Families will often come to us because they have a well-meaning doctor that orders food allergy testing for a variety of reasons. I mean, maybe the child has eczema or chronic belly pain. But what I think most people would be surprised to know is that food allergy testing isn't perfect. In fact, it's only helpful for anaphylactic food allergy. That's where the person may get hives or difficulty breathing after eating the allergic food. Even then, blood tests and skin testing are merely guides in diagnosing this type of food allergy. Our best tool is a great clinical story. Then, if we need tests, we can focus on ordering the right tests. These tests can help us decide whether it's safe for you to introduce the food at home or whether we should be more cautious and have you try the food in our office for the first time. Doing this in our office is called an oral food challenge. We schedule these first thing in the morning and we give you increasing amounts of the food over two to three hours and you're out of here by lunchtime. If you're truly allergic, you will have a few hives, facial swelling or upset stomach and when this happens, we stop the challenge, treat you and then send you home when you're back to normal. Once we have determined you are food allergic, we can discuss avoiding the food versus treating your food allergy. If you want to learn more about food treatments, check out Dr. Wyndham's video next. Now that's a lot of work to figure out whether your food allergy is real, but hopefully in just one or two office visits, we can get answers. But wouldn't it be amazing if we could just prevent food allergies? Here is something interesting you may not know. Eczema is thought to be that gateway to developing food allergies. Research shows that babies with severe eczema are more likely to develop food allergies. But if we get these babies eating egg and peanut early on, they are less likely to develop egg and peanut allergies as toddlers. Early introduction of the top allergenic foods is key to preventing food allergies. This is a very different recommendation than what your parents were told years ago. Food allergy research is ever evolving and us food allergy doctors are learning new things constantly. That's why we love what we do. We learn the most from our food allergy families and we hope we can make a difference in your lives too.